Hey, it's Jason Falls. My friends at Restream told me they get a lot of questions about using professional production software like Switcher Studio, which I use on my live streams, and integrating those with Restream, which is a great distribution platform. The good news is it's really simple. Now, before I show you, though, let's tackle an obvious question. Why would I use a professional production software if Restream has its own very useful studio tool? That's a great question. Restream Studio turns a basic live feed, the kind you would run with your phone on just one platform. So you go live on Facebook on the spur of the moment. That's basic. Restream turns that into a professional looking broadcast. You can add your logo, captions, which can be those cool name graphics across the bottom called lower thirds. You can change the base color to match your brand. You can even do you up a fancy frame to keep your branding ever present. And of course, you can bring in a guest. That's my dad. When you're live in Restream Studio, you can see the comments people are posting on your video on all the different networks you're on. You can even call attention to a comment and make it a graphic of its own. When you're not on camera, you can have a custom background that can be a company logo or any image you want. I like soccer stadiums. But Restream Studio doesn't have some more advanced broadcast features. That's why some people add a professional production software like Switcher Studio on top of Restream. You do all that graphic and camera angle and fonts over in your production software. You then feed that final product called the program feed to Restream, which then distributes it to all your different social networks or video platforms. So what does a platform like Switcher Studio do that Restream Studio doesn't? You can use advanced screen layouts for you and your guests. You can do fancy fades or wipes, transitions, if you will, between camera angles. You can even have a video playing on one panel while you're talking on the other. So professional production software just adds some fanciness to your program. You connect it to Restream with one easy step. Go to your Switcher Studio Switcher Unit. This software runs on iOS devices, so my Switcher Unit is an iPad. Find your Outputs tab. Run down the list of outputs until you find Custom RTMP. Select it and add an RTMP channel. Input your server URL, which is standard in Restream, then input your personal stream key ID. You can find both of these to the right under your stream monitor in the Restream dashboard. Back in Switcher Studio, make sure you set your video resolution. The higher the better, but know what your internet bandwidth can handle before you go all the way up. Save your settings. Go back out to your outputs and make sure the custom RTMP output is checked. Next, log in to Restream and turn on the destinations you wish to live stream to. That's it! You're set up! Now there's a lot more to do setting up your assets in your production software and a little bit of setup in Restream connecting your social networks and video sites as destinations, but those are different videos for another time. Hopefully this helps you know how to connect and use your professional production software add-ons with Restream. For more, just check out the resources at Restream.io, and I'll see you on the interwebs.